did not look at how we can apply and animate button shadows from the Python file, but we will definitely do that, now this is how you can apply and animate your button shadow from the JSON file. You can choose whether you want to apply your shadow on click or hover, and whether you want to animate your button shadow or not, by passing a boolean variable. You can also customize your animation further by changing the blur radius, X and Y offset, the animation duration, and the shadow color. I later updated the code to remove this error, so now if you leave out the apply shadow on option, the shadow will be applied immediately after you create your button. Okay guys that's all for this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful and you learned something. I wish to know how you're going to use this custom button extension to build your UIs, let me know in the comment section below. Feel free to leave a comment if you get stuck somewhere when working with this source. The next video will be about PyQt graphs, so you should definitely turn on your notifications for that. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next episode.